This class is concerned with value chain analysis. This assesses the effectiveness and development of competitive advantage. So its central focus is on the development and the effectiveness of competitive advantage. Value chain analysis is important in this context because competitive advantage is important for the business survival in the market context. The business will have competitors, it will also face um, a changing environment in which it operates, external environment and changing internal circumstances also. So the development of competitive advantage is important. The value chain analysis pays particular attention to the various processes within the business and how they contribute to the competitive advantage. So it focuses on the various processes within the business. The approach was developed by Porter, uh, Michael Porter, and he suggested that activities may be grouped under two headings. First of all, the primary activities and then the support activities. So we're looking here at the processes within the business and how they contribute to competitive advantage. So value chain analysis deals with the processes within the business. Uh, if we look at the business, we have support activities. We have the company structure, the human resource part of the business, the, the technology of the business and procurement. These are all support activities. Activities are others, there are many others, but these are the type of support activities that the business um, may use. It also has primary activities. <coughs> the primary activities could be caught up in areas like inbound logistics, operations, outbound logistics, marketing and sales and services. And these could be the, the primary activities. For example, inbound logistics. This is concerned with receiving, storing and distributing the inputs for the products. So it's the warehousing and uh, purchasing and procurement departments receiving the inputs that are going to be transformed into the final output. The operations, well this process of is the process of transforming the inputs into the final product or service. These processes may include machining, packaging, assembly and testing. So it's converting the inputs to the outputs. Outbound logistics, well gathering the product, uh, or getting the, the product finished and delivered to customers. These activities include warehousing, material handling and distribution. Again, all essential if the product is going to be delivered effectively to the market. And marketing and sales, while well, persuading customers to buy the product. These activities include advertising, sales administration, selling, pricing and channel selection. How should the product be delivered to the market? Should it be through retail outlets, mail order, what exactly is the, the distribution channel. And the services, well, these include uh, maintaining the value of product, of products or services. Uh, for example, customer support, repair services, installation, training and that sort of thing. So we have two types here we have the support activities and the primary activities of the business and each one of these add to the value chain. So if we look here we have the primary activities and the support activities. Now the infrastructure this involves planning, finance, quality control, information management and all the legal issues. So the infrastructure is, is what the business 
the administration of the business does. It's, it's the planning organization of the business. It's the management of the business in the context of planning, finance, uh, looking at the quality of the product and looking at the direction of the business, information management, and looking at the legal aspects of the business. The human resource management section in the support activities. Uh, this involves recruiting, management, managing training, developing, motivating and rewarding employees. So the company structure was looking at legal issues and planning and so on. Human resources looking at the people part of the business. The next one is uh, technology development. These include research and development, process design, product design, raw material improvements. Um, it's this is the research and development end. This is is what is what keep it, keeps the business at the front, keeps the business up to date, keeps the business competitive in the market by having an innovative product, an innovative design, having a d dynamic image in the marketplace. It's a support activity but it is very important in the delivery of an effective product. Finally we've got procurement. The process of purchasing raw materials and components. Value will be added to these to make the final product. And of course the business may have specialist buying staff whose job it is to negotiate discounts, delivery times, look at the terms of the delivery, uh, warehousing, making sure that the, the goods arrive on time and are properly stored. And So it's looking at the, the value of the business uh, from that perspective. Each one of these will be adding its own proportion of value to the product because each one of them must be paid for, each one of them must be met and each one of them must make a contribution. So the whole value chain is starts with the raw material and finishes with the final product in the hands of the customer. All of the, the various steps in between have to be added. All the the parts have to be added from procurement, production, uh, warehousing, distribution, marketing, sales and so on. And each part of the business is a part of that value chain. Now value chain analysis, well, divide a market or organization into its key products and activities and link this to the business model. So um, divide a market or organization into its key products. What are the key products of the business? What are its activities? And link these to the business model. Identify an area where value adding can take place. Where, where in the business, in the, that whole chain of events, can the business add most value? Is it in production? Is it in marketing? Uh, where in the process can value be added most? It may be in, in procurement, in purchasing, that the purchasing staff are able to negotiate incredibly good discounts or good terms uh, for the raw materials. So a lot of value may be added at that stage it's necessary to identify where most value is added so that the business has more information about its its overall effectiveness in terms of the making and delivering of the product. It knows where its, its key competency is as a business, where it is producing most. And if the business does determine where where it's best within that value chain, what it's doing best within the value chain, then 
it could develop strategies to exploit that advantage and perhaps develop other products that will rely on the same process because it knows it has a good purchasing department. So why not bring on a second product or a third product using the skills of that purchasing department to add significant amount of value um, to the production of extra products. It doesn't have to be procurement, it could be on sales or it could be in production or it could be any part of the business. But it's necessary and desirable to identify where the value added is being achieved most and then look to see if that can be further exploited by the introduction of additional products. So it's wise to go online and look up value chain analysis and make some notes for yourself and pad out what we've just been doing here. Um, look at the organization in total, look at every aspect of the organization, right down from the structure of the organization, the legal part of the organization, all the way down to marketing and distribution all parts of the business and see where is the value being added and where is value being added most. That's the nature of the exercise. So go online and go to sources and see if if you can get further information on this one and put out your own notes. There will be readings available associated with this class uh, in addition to the material we've got here. But that's all I'm going to deal with at the moment so Let's leave it at that and say thank you for watching.